Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Tuesday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Tuesday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the most common math mistakes that students should absolutely avoid. Um, we're going to break this video into four different sections. So section number one, which is this video, is going to talk about the most common mistakes made in algebra. The second section is going to be about the common math mistakes in intermediate algebra. The third section will go over the common mistakes in calculus, and the fourth section is going to talk about the common mistakes made in advanced calculus. Okay, so the first common mistake is when we are raising a number to a power of zero. So for example, let's say we have two raised to the power of zero. Um, 98% of the time students write zero as the final answer and zero is absolutely not the final answer it's incorrect um, the correct answer for this problem is simply one okay any number raised to the power of zero will be one this is just a rule of thumb so if we had like two million here it would have still been one so, you know, 5 raised to the power of 0, it's going to be 1. 2 million raised to the power of 0, it's going to be 1, and so on. The second common mistake is when we have a number, when we have a negative number raised to some power. So, for example, we have negative 4 raised to the power of 2. A lot of times students write positive 16 as the final answer and that's fundamentally wrong. The correct answer for this problem is simply negative 16. If we had negative 4 in, inside of the parentheses raised to, ne raised to the power of 2, then our answer would be positive 16. So do you see the difference? I hope so. The third common mistake is when we have a situation like this. So we have 2 times x plus 5 in parentheses squared. A lot of times students try to distribute this 2 inside the parentheses before expanding the parentheses and that's essentially what makes them get the wrong answer. What you have to do first in this case is you have to expand whatever you have inside the parentheses and then you need to multiply the 2. So in this case you have to expand x plus 5 squared and then, multi and then you're going to distribute the 2 to every term when you expand your parentheses. The fourth common mistake is when we're dealing with equations. So when we have, um, let's see, when we have 2x squared plus x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared again plus 4 is equal to negative 10. You know, when you take a look at this equation, you're going to say that this equation has four answers. So you're going to try and look for all the four answers. But sometimes these equations don't have four answers. Some of the answers are imaginary. Some of the answers do not even exist. But a lot of students try to find, like, all the four answers. And <laughs> in some cases, the right answer doesn't exist. So they just keep going and going and trying to find the answer. And they don't even get the right answer in some cases. So... Watch out for that. And finally, last but not the least, the fifth common mistake is when we're dealing with geometry. So if I give you the question, um, is this a right triangle? 
and you have two options you can either say yes or you can say no a lot of times students say yes and they get the wrong answer simply because if a triangle is right if, if, if you have a right triangle you must have a sign that says you have a 90 degree angle if you do if you don't have the sign you're not going to have a right triangle so I know this looks like a right triangle but if you don't have the sign it's going to be considered as something else it's not the right triangle Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Tuesday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Tuesday, happy studying.